right? And then the dinner play dinnerware placement. So the dinnerware should be placed in the center, right, of the table. So this is how you're going to set your table, right? So the dinner plate is always at the center of the cover. And then the flatware placement or the utensils or the cutlery placement, you have your fork on the left side and you have the knife and the spoon on the right side. So that is the proper placement for your flatwares. So the forks are on the left side and the knife and the spoons are on the right side so in the middle is your plate and then you have to take note that <coughs> uh, in placing the different flatware okay it must be placed in order in the order in which it will be used working from the outside toward the plate so let's say if this is your dinnerware placement the first utensil that you're going to use are the ones on the outer side of the cover. So basically this one is the first one that you're going to use and then this one. And then you work your way okay? And uh, you you work your way until the middle utensil, right? So meaning this two right these two are the ones you're going to use the last all right and then you have to place the knives to the right of the plate with the blades facing the plate all right so the blade should face the plate all right and then the spoons to the right of the knives. So the spoon must be placed on the right side of the knife. Okay? So this is on the right side, of course. And then place the forks to the left side of the plate. The forks are on the left side, which is correct, of course. And then salad is eaten before the main course. So you have to place the salad fork to the left of the dinner fork. Okay? So let's say if if you're going to eat the main course after or let's say before uh, let, say if you have a main course rather and then you have your salad, all right? So you have to place the salad fork to the left of the dinner fork. So it's like it's like this. So if you have your plate here and you have your dinner fork and you have your dinner knife, this now is your salad fork and your salad knife sorry for the drawing but th that is just for you to uh, know which or where to place the different utensils and then your beverage glass sits just above the tip of the dinner knife so this is where you put your glass and then if water glass is used you have to put that water goblet on top of the dinner knife right put the water glass at the tip of the knife okay so here is where you will place the water goblet Okay, so let's have a more detailed explanation on how we go about the correct setting 
or the placement of the different utensils in the table. So this one, I have prepared a sample table setting or placement and you can find the different tablewares on this photo. So you have the first one is the dinner plate. That's number one. So this is the dinner plate. This one is the dinner plate. And then you have the second one, soup spoon. This one is the soup spoon, number two. And then you have number three, salad knife. This one is the salad knife. And uh, the salad knife is partnered with number four, which is the salad fork. So salad knife and salad fork. And then number five, you have the dinner knife. And it goes with number six, which is the dinner fork. All right. So salad knife and salad fork, dinner knife and dinner fork. And then you have number seven, bread and butter plate. This is where you put the bread. And then you have number eight, butter knife. And then you have number nine, you have water goblet. So this is where you fill in the water. And then number 10 is the white wine glass. So this is where you serve white wine. And then 11 is the red wine glass for red wine. Number 12, you have dessert spoon, which is used for, again, wet desserts. And then you have number 13, dessert fork, which is used for dry desserts. And number 14, this is where you put the centerpiece. So this particular setting is uh, going to be uh, done if you have the following menu. Let's say you have soup, right? You have soup, so therefore you must have the soup spoon. So among this, soup, salad, main course, and dessert, the first dish that you will be eating is the soup. So if that is the case, the soup spoon should be placed on the outer part of the setting. And then after eating the soup, you will be using soup spoon. Then your meal will now be followed by salad. So you will now be using number three and number four, which is the salad knife and the salad fork. All right. And then after eating the salad, the next dish would be main course, which is why you are going to use number five, which is dinner knife and number six, which is dinner fork. That is for the main course. Okay. And then the butter or the bread and butter plate is usually where you put the bread. So the bread is usually eaten with soup. Okay, the bread is usually eaten with soup. And then if you have two desserts, let's say they will be serving both wet and dry dessert, you will be putting here dessert spoon and dessert fork but if you only have one type of dessert it depends if let's say they will be serving ice cream then you will remove the dessert fork but if they will be serving cake you will remove the dessert spoon and you will now turn the dessert for 180 degrees and then for the glassware the correct placing of the water goblet is one inch one inch from the tip of the dinner knife so the water goblet is placed one inch above the tip of the dinner knife and then 
the wine, which is number 10 is white wine glass. The wine is usually served before the main course, so it can be paired with the salad. And then, red wine, on the other hand, which is number 11, the red wine glass, is usually paired with the main course. Okay, so let's say you're eating red meat. So you will be serving red wine. Okay, so this is a sample setting or placement of the different utensils depending on, but again, it will depend on the menu. Let's say if there is no soup, you will remove the soup spoon. But if there is a soup, but there is no salad, you will remove the salad knife and the salad fork. So what will remain now would be just the soup spoon and then the dinner knife and the dinner fork. But again, if there is a soup, if there is a salad, if there is a main course, and there are wines that will be paired with the salad, that is white wine, and then wine that will be paired with the main course, that is red wine, all of these glasswares must be present in the table. So that, that's how you do the place setting or the cover. Okay, so this is uh, one of the basic um, knowledge when setting up the table in the dining area. So it just depends on what will be served. So it will just depend on the menu. All right, so the menu or the dishes that will be served. So the more dishes that will be served in the table, the more utensils you will find on the table. Okay, the less menu or the less dishes, then also there will be lesser utensils found in the table. And then the meal service, you have to decide how you want to serve your meal and that will determine how your table is set. So uh, if you want to be very formal, so you have to follow those different placements. But let's say if you're just having a meal with your friends and with your family, you can just put all the dishes in the middle of the table all at one time and then just choose whatever it is that you would want to eat and not follow the sequence like uh, having the appetizer first and then followed by the soup followed by the salad so but let's say in a restaurant in a in a fine dining restaurant the meal sequence is usually followed so if you have a more formal type of meal service so you have to follow the correct placement of the different utensils so it depends on the formality and informality of the meal also uh, the meal service will depend on the menu so this is your sequence so if you can still recall you have your appetizer first followed by your soup your salad your main course and your dessert so that is the order and then the availability of help whether you will have uh, the necessary staff to perform the meal service okay so if you're going to have it served per meal and then you have like 50 guests so you need uh, more staff to perform the meal service but let's say if you're just cooking for your family you are five then probably you can just serve it by yourself okay And that would be the end of this video and I will be waiting for your responses in the discussion question. So please write down your dis responses in the comment section of the video and I will be seeing you again on the next learning session.